Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this wheel mechanism using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly is consisting of four components, and here are these four components. Here are the dimensions of components and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notification, I promise you won't regret it. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we're gonna use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name circular disk. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to circle command and draw a circle from the origin of diameter 10 cm. Now go to center point slot command. Select the center of the slot as the origin and give it a length of 4 cm and diameter of 0.8 cm. Go to circular pattern. For the object, double click on this edge to select the whole slot. As the center, select this origin, type, full, quantities, 3. Click OK. Go to circle command and draw a circle vertically aligned with the origin of diameter 0.8 cm. Now go to sketch dimension command, select the origin and the center of the circle and assign a vertical distance between them as 3.5 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, drag it inward up to minus 1 cm. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude, select this circular profile and drag it inward up to minus 3 cm operation type join click ok turn off the visibility of previous sketch now go to circular pattern pattern type feature for the object select the previous extrude and for axis select this circular edge number of quantities 6 type full click ok Now select this surface and create a new sketch on it. Now go to center to center slot. Select the first point as the center of this circle and the second point as the center of this one. Give it a diameter of 1 cm. Go to center diameter circle and draw a circle from the origin of diameter 1 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude, select these profiles, change the start type to offset plane and give a offset of 1 cm. So our profile will be extruded from a distance of 1 cm from the sketch plane. Give a extrude distance of 0.5 cm. Operation join, click OK. Now go to circular pattern, pattern type feature for the object select the previous extrude and for axis select this circular edge. Number of quantities 3, type full, click ok. Now go to main component and create a new one. Give it a name triangular follower, keep it active and click OK. Select this surface and create a new sketch on it. Go to center to center slot. Select the first point as the origin. Give a distance of 2 cm and diameter of 1 cm. Press C to go to circle command and draw a circle from the origin of diameter 0.8 cm. Draw another circle from this point of diameter 1 cm. 
hide our previous component to view our sketch clearly. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select this circular profile. Change the direction to two sides. For this side, extrude it up to one centimeter, and for this side, two centimeter. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude again. Select these profiles. Change the start type to offset plane and give a offset distance of 1.25 cm. Extrude distance 0.5 cm. Operation type join. Click OK. Now go to circular pattern. Pattern type feature for the object select the previous two extrudes. For the axis select this circle. Number of quantities 3 type full click OK. Turn off the visibility of previous sketch. Now go to combine command. Select these three bodies. Operation type join and click OK. Our triangular follower is ready. Now go to main component and create a new one. Give it a name axis. Keep it active and click OK. Select this surface and create a new sketch on it. Hide the triangular follower. Draw a center point circle from the origin of diameter 1 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select this circular profile and extrude it up to 3 cm. Change the direction to two sides and in another side extrude it up to 1 cm. Operation new body click OK. Go to main component. Select the axis. Right click on it and copy it. Right click on main component and paste it. Drag it up to a suitable distance and click OK. Turn on the visibility of triangular follower. Now we need to assign some joints between our components. But before that we need to ground our axis 1. So right click on it and ground. Here you can see all our components can be easily moved but the axis can't be. Now go to S build joint. For components, select the axis 1 and the circular digs. Change the motion type to revolute. And for position, select this circular surface. Click OK. Here you can see our circular disk is rotating properly. It's time for the second joint. So go to joint. For component 1, select this surface of axis 2 and for component 2, select this cylindrical surface of triangular follower. Drag our axis up to minus 0.5 cm. Motion type Revolute. Click OK. Now, if we try to rotate our circular disk, we can see that the components are overlapping on each other. To prevent this, enable contact sets, right click on it and create new contact set. For components, select the circular disk and triangular follower. Click OK. Now we have to ground axis 2. So right click on it, make it ground. If we try to rotate our circular disk now, we can see that the triangular follower is following the disk properly. Go to joints, right click on revolve to and animate model. It's time to assign some colors to the components. Press A to go to appearance. I'm going to use this metallic black, yellow and white color on them. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye